Let's now move on to the Fries equation, which kind of ties all this together. So if we include transmitter and receiver antenna gains, the ratio of the received power to transmit power can be calculated as follows. The received power is simply the transmitted power times the gain of the antenna times the effective area. And we can then from there plug in the following 4 pi over lambda squared and I've added a 4 pi here so this is all just one here and we can recognize this as simply being the gain of the receiver and so we can plug in the gain of the receiver and we've got this little lambda over 2 here and it came in because we used it to cancel out what we put in the bottom and this is what ends up being the Fries equation which is pretty simple we take a transmit power it decreases as 1 over r squared and we've got the product of our two gains from the transmitting and the receiving antenna and just so you know typically uh, when you specify an antenna or you buy an antenna it's going to give you g so that's something when you buy an antenna you're going to know exactly what that number is so if you buy a transmitting antenna and a receiving antenna you can go calculate the transfer function between your transmitter and receiver for a given wavelength so some things to recognize with the Fries equation is that it's going to give you your received power and that received power decreases with distance, 1 over r squared. Uh, it increases by using a larger or more directive antenna. Now it looks like from this that as the uh, frequency increases, the wavelength will get smaller, and so the received power gets smaller. But at the same time, the antenna sizes are now larger compared to lambda. And if you remember, in this gr, um, there is a lambda squared. And so typically, they're going to give you your directivity for a given lambda. So as we scale in lambda, your gr will actually change. So you can't just look at this and say, my lambda squared is going to get smaller, and therefore I have less received power. You need to remember that the gr is also scaled by lambda over 2. Uh, our received power will increase as the transmit power is increased. 